Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wal Aqibatul Muttaqeen Wal Aqibatul Illa Ala Zalimeen Wal Sallallahu Wal Sallam Ala Nabiyyina Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam Amma Ba'd Ahabatifillah How do we deal with the infighting between Ahlul Sunnah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa i'tasimu bi hablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku Allah says and hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide wa la tafarraku Ahabat fillah min fawaid or benefits from some of the benefits of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah with regards to this ayah is that the Muslims should hold all together to the hablillah to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning the Quran first and foremost the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the Salaf of the Salaf of Salih Ridwan Allahi alayhim That means that's the means for our success وَاِعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide Meaning that we need to, in order to have that unity and to escape division it's by adhering to the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam It's not by adhering to various methodologies and madhahib Meaning to blind follow madhahib, we're not talking about the a'immah to fiqh but We're talking about blind following and making ta'asab And having blind prejudice towards a particular madhahib in every issue regardless of whether the Dalil supports it or not we're talking about that the people have to find that unity that Muslims have to find the unity by adhering to the rope of Allah because Allah commanded with adhering to the rope of Allah and then not dividing and we already know that the Prophet وسلم, let us know that the Ummah would break and split and divide. The Prophet وسلم, said, If Tarakatil Yahuda the Itha was Sabain Ferka, with Tarakatin Nasara let an attain was Sabain Ferka, was a Taftariku Hadi Umma Allah Thalatha was Sabain Ferka, Kulla have in Nara Lawahi, the Kulla men here Yarasullah, Kala men can Allah Mithli Makana Ali, he was Habi. So, letting us know, the Prophet said the Jews were breaking the 71 sects, uh, the Christians in the 72 sects, and my Ummah, meaning the Ummah of Muhammad, meaning the Muslims, were breaking the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And then the companions, they said, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? The Prophet said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So letting us know again that the rope of Allah is the Quran and the Sunnah and the Madhab of the Salaf. So what happens when Ahl Sunnah divides and fights over trivial things or sometimes a difference in understanding or sometimes divisions because of individuals that some individuals speak about particular ulama or particular talabat al-ilm and they divide and they have a position say so and so is from Ahl bidah whereas others ulama, other ulama other talabat al-ilm uh, believe that those particular individuals are not from Ahl bidah so you're going to have these divisions or these different views regarding issues that will never cease 
But how we deal with them is what's most important. Do we allow that to divide us and cause hatred and enmity? This is a subject of great discussion and lengthy discussion. And in a nutshell, what we have to do for us in the West, especially, because the ulama in the East, they have, the, I mean, the people in the East, they have their ulama there on the ground with them to deal with these things. And they have Muslim societies. Whereas we don't have those things. So what do we need to do when there's issues between Ahl Sunnah? A beautiful piece of advice that Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Aida Shemri said once with regards to some of the fitna in Yemen that was going on between Sheikh Ahmed, uh, Sheikh uh, Hajuri, Sheikh Yahya Hajuri, and the other Mashaikh in Yemen. Uh, and he mentioned that when Ahl Sunnah, and this is in the early part of the fair, we're not going to get into those issues as well. But in the, the point being is that when scholars or when du'ad cannot get along, then this one calls to the Sunnah in his locality, and this one calls to the Sunnah in his locality. Still calling the Kitab wa Sunnah. And it's better to make the Islah and to rectify yourselves. But if you cannot, then keep calling the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So what does this mean for those who are not calling to that? Meaning that they're not Du'at, they're not Talib al ilm but they're from the general Muslims who just want to know the truth, who just want to pack practice then our brothers and sisters, do not get involved in the fitna. Avoid the fitna. Avoid wasting time in discussions. Even when people try to bring you into it, let them think what they're gonna think about you. Because you're never gonna please everyone. And you're never gonna please, unfortunately, some of the people. Some of the people, either they have a, they throw away the medhev of the cellar, and some of those go beyond the medhev of the cellar, are too extreme. And, and going, or taking some of the nasus of the cellar, and, and ignoring others. So, adhere to your best and avoid the fitna to your best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.